All righty. Thank you. It is a pleasure to be here. I am Judd Anton from Yahoo Research, and I'm uh, pleased to give you this short talk titled Online Collaboration is Changing the World, but actually we don't know much about what really motivates people to collaborate online, even though we think we do, so our incentive systems are pretty bad and we can do better. Uh, I don't have to give this group a primer on online collaboration. It's powerful, it's changing the world, and we would love to motivate people to do more uh, and to satisfy themselves more. There are decades and decades of research about motivation in a variety of fields, and yet today's incentive systems are based on some very simplistic models of motivation. And one of the reasons is that motivation and incentives can be very confusing to talk about. Here's a case in point. Uh, points, levels, badges, leaderboards, they're everywhere these days, and I believe that this is a good faith effort. I'm a proponent of the idea, I think it shows some promise, but again, there are some, I would argue, some confusion there, some very simplistic models. Uh, let's just look, for example, at badges. There is nothing inherently motivating about a badge. If a badge is motivational, that motivation comes from an underlying social psychological process, like goal seeking or mastery seeking, like social approval or group identification or self-efficacy. So those are the things that I work on. I work on identifying the underlying social psychology of online, incentive, of online motivation and how to design better, smarter incentive systems. So I want to give you just three quick takeaways. Um, number one. People don't usually get paid for online collaboration, but nobody works for free. There are valuable rewards there, and what they are are good feelings. But the fact that we're talking about warm fuzzies, I think, encourages people to dismiss them, and they do so at their peril because they're powerful. Secondly, what we should really care about is actually not just short-term flash-in-the-pan motivation, but long-term sustained participation. And across contexts, we know from research there are two things that motivate long-term participation. Intrinsic interest in a task or activity and a social connection to other community members. We don't know how to design good incentive systems yet that take advantage of these long-term, long-term motivations. Third, today's incentive systems are one-size-fits-all, but people are different in ways that matter. Some people are more self-interested and others are more pro-social. Some people seek social status and others actively avoid it. Some people are motivated by ideology and others by social approval, and yet we design incentive systems that treat everyone the same. And context matters, right? Culture matters. Today's systems, people can be involved in collaboration with others from all over the world. And those people may be motivated by very different things and have very different orientations towards work. Today's models of motivation, today's incentive systems like gamification don't understand those cultural, those contextual, those social differences. The cloud and the crowd are powerful computing metaphors, but I would argue they are also dehumanizing. They encourage us to think about people as just faceless cogs in the machine, without society, without culture. They encourage us to forget about individual differences in social interaction and its importance. I would argue that our challenge is to rehumanize uh, the way we look at online systems, online collaboration, motivation. The future of incentive systems is going to have to take account of social incentives individual differences. It's intelligent, adaptive incentive systems that are respectful and ethical and treat people as unique people with specific goals in specific contexts. That's what I'm working on, and I encourage you all to work with me. Thanks very much.